was born and raised in South Florida. I started the piano when I was five. And this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Naturally, I wanted to join a pre-college program. I looked into, you know, Juilliard, Curtis, and then Colburn. An interesting thing was that I never really thought about Colburn for pre-college. I didn't really know that much about it. The academy was very new. This is just the second year it's been here. I got to the school and it just, it blew my mind. It was fantastic. Everyone was friendly and I thought, this is home. Today is pretty packed. Hi, Hi Mr. Coletti. Okay, so is, um, what do you have this week? Um, second through fourth. Okay, great. I'm in this environment where music is around you. It's not you live your life, you practice, you continue living your life. It's always around you, you always hear it, it's always in your mind somewhere. And it doesn't become part of your life as it becomes your life. So it's almost um, demonic. Mm -hmm. You're like, yeah. can you play a little like that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's very few teachers because there's very few students, but your teachers will care a lot about what you're doing. It's a very unique program. It's very special. It's very, very intense. You wouldn't be anything without me. You wouldn't be anything without me. Tell the piano. You wouldn't be anything without me. Okay, so that's the response, only it's musical. Hear it, hear it, hear it. It's going to be very, very personal is the best way I'm going to put it. But in the same way, it's incredible and it's a very nurturing environment. Uh, again, there is this opposition between you, both of you, are uh, going down and the piano is mm -hmm. coming over. So I would love to, to hear the piano with more incision. Uh, in a small setting, the class has become less intimidating, more of a discussion. It's more intelligent, more personal, and we get performance opportunities. With every recital, you have a very probable chance of playing. We get the experience that we need. I'm lucky I don't go to a public high school, I go to a virtual high school. So all my work is done pretty much on a laptop, in my room or in a library. Welcome to my apartment. This is my room, this is where I do my homework and where I sleep. And other than that, I'm in the practice rooms all day, but after a long day, you know, I come up here and it's home sweet home for me. This is one of the great practice rooms at Colbert, and this is basically where I live. I'm here more often than I'm in my room. This is where the magic happens. The only part that people see in a musician is when we go out on stage and when we perform. But there's something really special about practicing because this is our work. This is where we grow and where we learn. And this is where we fall in love with our music. What you discover is that these people care about you so much. They don't care about the success of their school or their program as much as they care about your success, your learning, your appreciation of the music is what they want to preserve, what they want to cultivate. Of course it improves your playing, it helps you love what you're doing, and everyone around you is loving the same thing, and it just makes you, it makes you a better person, it makes you a better musician, and that's very important. You're too comfortable. It's too, it's too...